Asian, the Maendeleo ya Wanawake organization has cautioned against the hustler versus dynasty narrative being driven by the deputy president William Ruto's camp. The group's chairperson, Rahab Mwiu, said the idea would split the country down the middle as class rivalry campaigns intensify ahead of next year's general election. She said this while defending Wiper Party leader Kalonzo Musyoka. A lot of attacks and counter-attacks from political leaders differently. Of concern for me today is the attack on His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka and on allegation of grabbed land in Yata. His Excellency uh, Kalonzo Musyoka is the community leader in Ukampani, a national leader, and as an elder myself in the community, he is my neighbor. He is the bona fide leader of the whole Kamba community, and he has been for some time. And I am re responding in his defense, because what we are hearing is not kind at all to him. I am in Jubilee Party myself, but as I said, I acknowledge him as the community leader. When I came into office myself, I had three vices, and you know the story of my and Leo in the last six years, who started these conspiracies and lies and theories, and we have all witnessed what is happening in America today. And so I feel it, because I had a husband who was not well, I was managing an office and a sick husband who I lost in April 2017. And I imagine the pain Kalonzo Musioka has to go through, managing children, managing a sick wife, and yet you have to fight your integrity issues and you already have the integrity. And therefore, it is wrong to treat people like this. So for me, as I conclude, I wish to say that uh, it is important because he did put his story out there that if anybody has anything against him, they take it where they need to take it. We all know where we take matters. But if it is not true, as I have always said, even in my case in my Leo, the truth will always set you free. I'm going to respond to His Excellency's speech when he spoke uh, the other day. I heard it word by word. I do hear the language very well. And I supported what he said. He was truthful as always. He spoke to his people. And we all have an opportunity to do the same if we want. And I think that was timely. And more of that will be useful to counter the lies and the narratives which are on the ground. So for me, I commend him for that. So my